Hello viewers, and it looks like some new Pokemon news has just been dropped, and I figured we'd go ahead and react to it. Also, then I realized, hey, we never did a video talking about the competitive trailer that came out, I think, maybe almost a week ago, and I figured, well, might as well just do all three in one, do the two new videos that came out today, and do that competitive trailer uh, to start out with, just to kind of give our thoughts on all this, and dive into everything and then maybe we'll dive into the pokemon website as well just to kind of see if there's any other information we can maybe figure out and kind of just go from there but hopefully you guys do all enjoy be sure you do smash that like button because it really does help out and subscribe if you're new we'd love to get to know you so let's go ahead and play this uh lovely uh trailer here and figure out what we got going on let me go ahead and make sure it's all the way allowed for me All right, new additions. So I have, gotta be strictly honest, have seen this trailer, and I do really like this guy. He does look like something related with the legendaries. I do agree with that. Also, don't see any confirmation of like battle timers or anything like that with this. But I love this move. I love the shed tail move. Seems pretty, uh, pretty OP for definitely um, some competitive battling coming up in the future. Mirror could also be very broken. It's gonna show up the crystallization. Did you hear my youngest talking in the background? Mr. Uh, Colossal here, a water type, giving him his ability, show confirming that you know things can relate with each other. We know those colossal things last the whole game. It'd be interesting though if you can like change it during the thing, or if it's only this one type. Like, so once you become water type, are you water type throughout, or can you use different you know crystallizations to change your type throughout constantly? That'd be another interesting tidbit that they could uh, try to throw in here if they wanted to. <clears throat> Ghost type Tyranitar. Music also sounds really good. Boppin' music. Pokemon's good for that, though. Alright, and that's all it really shows for the uh, competitive trailer. Also, yeah, the pre-game bonuses, which are not the greatest this time around. Um, and also, like I said, we got a couple more trailers here that dropped literally today, like a few hours ago, it looks like. And we're going to check out Mr... I don't even know how to say this. Giraffe? It sounds like it's being giraffe, but I don't know if it's or not. These are paint markings. It looks like uh, it tweeted out yesterday. It's like a... Interesting. Not what I was expecting. He's cute. Poison type, maybe? Hmm, not much really shown about him. But he's a cute little guy. I'm gonna go back to kind of him himself. Here we go. So he's got like a little paintbrush poisonish monkey looking thing, or maybe like a. I don't know. I don't know what he is. Not a monkey. And there's a creature, I just can't think of it. Let's check what this one's about. I've traveled across the land collecting Ooh, and recording dialogue. photos of these mysterious patterns. I wanted to find out more about these strange markings and observe the creature who draws them. It's called Graphii. Graphii? So okay. I ventured deep into the forest in search of some existing markings. I heard there's a chance that a Graphii will come out where a pattern has already been drawn. When I finally found this cluster of markings, it was the perfect place to set up my cameras. I use a camera that works great in low light. Even in the dark, it picks up the colors on the trees beautifully. Right, intro over. Let's get to some footage, shall we? So, oh, here. A scatterbug comes into frame. You see, it's been lured by a sweet scent coming from the marking. Uh -huh. This pattern also acts as a trap for other Pokemon. Look, we caught a bit of its eye. And there's its tail. Here it is, our Graphii. It's eating berries in front of the camera. Need a better camera, bud. And Not that I don't it also need a better camera. A mark. Amazing. Look how 
focused it is, and the colors of the pattern matches the berries it's eating. We can clearly see that the color Graphii paints with depends on the Pokemon's diet. Oh. And you see here, it's marking over the top of the stripy pattern that was drawn before. It's claiming territory over another Graphii. Ah, here's where it was startled, which made it stop and disappear. So frustrating, I couldn't see it anywhere, but it triggered the motion sensor light. And lo and behold, my backup camera caught our Graphii out in the open. So incredible. Uh, <laughs> Definitely need a new camera though. Thank God. Definitely do. Forget your expensive electric. All right, and, and that's pretty much the uh, gist of that. So let me go ahead and go to the Pokemon website, which should give us to the Scarlet Violet website. Good job. Okay, so the, oh, this talks about monkey. I was not far off with saying monkey. At least that doesn't make me feel completely stupid. Alright, so let's click on here, which, like I said, just came out today. We watched the video already. So, yeah, he's a cute little guy. Kind of, like I said, he's, 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 he's interesting, but doesn't seem to give him much information on him yet. It says, Toxic Monkey Pokemon. So, yeah, maybe Poison type? Um, does it have... Anything new? Yes. There he is. Oh, we also have Chrysler on here too, so let's uh, check him out. Psy Lizard? I don't know. It could be like Psycho Lizard. Uh, Dragon Normal, which we did see. There's that image I was talking about where he does show him possibly riding with some maybe other NPCs, but doesn't seem like we'll be one of those in, like people that possibly gets to ride him. But it'd be cool if we get to ride him because he's he's definitely cute. Um, but also the whole thing about saying it can sprint instead of like using its wheel like the future lizard to drive around, it uses the running of its legs, which is kind of disappointing. But um. Also, there could be strategies with this with this shed tail if you were to be holding maybe like a bear. Well, yeah, you could do like a berry or something maybe when you switch out or maybe the ability when it like regenerator or something like that. That could uh, help its HP get back. I guess it would tell it's, oh, it's just shed skin so it doesn't get like poisoned or things like that. All right, let's go back to the Pokemon here and figure out more about Mr. Monkey Man here. Moody Pokemon with a fastidious disposition. Man, these are some big words. Um, looks like it is poison normal, so very interesting typing. We'll have poison touch and unburden. It's almost like a robot monkey looking thing. Like an emu? I don't know. I don't know. There's a creature I'm thinking of. Whatever Zumafu was. I mean, I think he was a monkey too, but... Oh, his big ears remind me of some other creature. Um, since his danger becomes more toxic, interesting. I mean, definitely a cute little interesting Pokemon. Let's see if there's any other information we figured out in the past couple days. Um, like I said, now we have the new uh, VGC trailer, or whatever you want to call it. This one. So yeah, it'll be casual, which says it can use any Pokemon, which is going to be really nice because it's usually always restricted in some things. But I mean, with Wi-Fi, we still get the casual battles. But again, no confirmations on like timers. It does look like you can still have like customization of like the trainer card and stuff like that. I hope it's just like Sword and Shield where it's really customizable. Um, and it does look like there's something like with parental teams if you use somebody. It's IDs, you can maybe use other people's teams and stuff, which would be cool if like, you can use like a champion trainer's team or something like that from the tournaments and everything. Um, let's see here. Like I said, there was the mirror herb we saw. This was another item that's not really shown in the trailer, but the covered cloak. Um, but I think that have flinching or things like that, like fake out, won't have effect anymore. Uh, we saw about the loaded dice. Um, 
I wonder if you can combine that with like the item, uh, was it called metronome, and make it always just basically guaranteed to hit. Or wait, is that is that an item? It is an item. Never mind. I was gonna say there is an item called metronome. That's I thought that was kind of like the same concept. Um. No. Okay. Uh, tier type. Back in chairs, combine tier effect, moves, abilities. Yeah, it doesn't confirm whether you can constantly change it, but it does say Terra Blast, the new move that was shown in the trailer, um, uses whatever stat is higher, whether you be a special attacker or an attacker, but you can change with like IVs and things like that, EV training and Is this the train trailer that we watched on YouTube? Yes, it is. I just don't see that uh, this guy shown anywhere in said trailer. But yeah, it looks like that's all the information we have into right now to dive into. But <clears throat> I hope you guys have enjoyed. Be sure you do hit that like button. Like I said, we'll keep diving into watching these videos and reacting to it. Uh, like I said, I do like the new Pokemon show far. I definitely am very excited for Scarlet and Violet. Definitely, I think, a little bit more than I was for Sword and Shield, except for like with the uh, Dynamax Adventures and stuff like that came out. Um, like basically the DLC and all that made me excited for Sword and Shield. However, yeah, I'm just very excited to see what Scarlet and Violet keeps showing for us. Uh, we basically got, what, October, November, basically two more months, uh, two and a half maybe, uh, before its release. Uh, so, yeah, definitely definitely going to be an exciting time coming up. I know I definitely need to dive right back into very, 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 very soon to viewing my Road to Scarlet and Violet. Other than that, guys, we'll see you guys all in the next video stream, whatever it may be. This is going to be The Modern Gamer, signing out. Kaka. -ka.